of all the games, so thank you very much, mate. We just made the best team win. And he turned away and one of them said, who's that guy? He went, f*** it, that's Shane Richardson. <laughs> Last time I got a buzz cut. <laughs> G'day folks, my name is Mikey Robbins and this is my South story. This is really cool being here. <laughs> Uh, what, what do I do? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a comedian. I'm best known for doing uh, radio. I've done Triple J, Triple M, Vega. Best known for a TV show called Good News Week on the ABC and Channel 10. And I've just finished writing my first ever book, which comes out soon and might be out by the time I'm here. It's called Seven Deadly Sins and One Very Naughty Fruit. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a cultural history of our weird relationship with food, of which I'm an expert. <laughs> Well, I grew up in Newcastle, and there was no knights about the time. And but it, even so, when you did, when you when you weren't born in Sydney, you either followed the Tigers, the Saints, or South. Now I'm, I was born in '61, so as I'm starting to become aware of footy, it's that wonderful golden era of South. My father followed South. We should say there were three voices of authority in my house: my father, the Pope, and Eric Sims. We were you know, <laughs> Catholic footy, <laughs> and. Um, yeah, and you don't change teams, you know. You, once, once, and particularly the rabbit, and particularly once we, I got, you know, going through some lean years, then you know, the bastardry of being kicked out for two years, you know, you, it, it deepens what was already there. I was in, I was in Brisbane. I was doing a, a comedy gig up there, and um, someone phoned me. I think I can't even remember who it was. And just chills just ran through my body. I mean, we knew things were dire, we knew things were tough. We never, I don't know, you just didn't think they were ever going to sink that low. Um, they did, and we proved them wrong. That was, um, that was just, uh, and that was devastating. I, mean, I didn't watch footy for two years, I didn't care. And, uh, you know, I watched, so I watching AFL, which I still don't understand the rules to. Complicated game. I went on a couple of TV shows um, until the march was on, and did a bit of PR for it. Um, and oh, I'll never forget the day my, my wife and I came, and we're expecting a turnout, but I'll never forget turning, turning the corner just from, where, from where we are, just just off Charmer Street, and just standing there and just and realizing how far back it went. And by the time we hit Town Hall, for a brief period, I was up on the balcony and I'm just looking down, just going, well, we are back in from then. We, we, you knew from that day we were back in. And even the Telegraph admitted, which was a, a news corp, a company, a paper, they, they admitted that day they got it wrong. And I'll never forget the day we got back. I was at the, the club across the road. And uh, there was a photo of me holding the... The, the, the afternoon telegraph saying, you know, we're back in. He was 140 kilos at the time, it's amazing that table stood me. Yeah. Fat <laughs> Together, people can move mountains, and that's what we did today. We moved the mountains. There's not much doubt about that. And the emotion was to overflow all through a very long day. Rugby League started with South and it will end with South. Yeah. Never say die. They won't. They're bringing the kid this game back to the people. This is the way it should be. I'll get serious in a second. I'll tell you my favourite story though. From the grand final day, because I was actually speaking in the Millennium Room. So I had to wear a suit. So I had a suit on. And there was a couple of Bulldogs, young Bulldogs fans came up. And one of them said, good day, mate. Um, may the best team win. And I said, oh. Thank you, this was before the game, so thank you very much, mate. Made the best team win. And he turned away and one of them said, who's that guy? He went, kid, that's Shane Richardson. <laughs> Last time I got a buzz cut. <laughs> um, the la it was, I remember, I remember talking to Molly Meldrum, who said that, because he's a St Kilda fan, and he always regrets the fact that he, got, he had too much to drink at the, when St Kilda won the grand final. So I remember thinking, I was on Diet Cokes the whole night. And I had one glass of wine at half time. And then the last five minutes, I was with my best mate and his brother. And they're both St George fans, but they're both league nuts. And they, they knew how important this was. And the tears started. Yeah. I mean, it was a slight little cry at kickoff, but the last five minutes was 
It's very embarrassing photos of me on social media, <laughs> blubbing. And then everyone was coming back into Redfern and I said, no, I'm going to go home and have a scotch and watch it again, which I did. And um, then the next day I was down at the Oval. I, I ran, ran into Adam Hills, speaking. and Hills, he came back and he was hanging around Redfern. And uh, a bunch of South supporters spotted him and went, hey, Will, come and have a drink with us. And Adam went, no, 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 I'm Adam Hills. I went, oh, that's right, but tonight you're Will. And Adam went, what the hell? It was, um, I was, my, I think my wife described it for about, there was a party that went on for about three, four days after the grand final. As myself and the Grusevans, who were massive, you know, Deidre's kids and Deidre Grusevans. There was a party there, and, and it was just like, it was like, it was, it was like Christmas. It was like, like five Christmases had come at once. It was the best. And a mate of mine, Francis Leach, was a sports writer. He's an AFL, excuse me, he's an AFL head, but he, he, he likes the, the league as well. He wrote an article about the game called, that game called The Noise. This is a guy who's been at every sporting event. Well, he said he'd never heard a noise like from the moment South ran on. Like, it was just cheering all night. And that's, that's the one thing I remember the most, was this bubbling of noise. It was one of the best nights of my life. 43 years of pain come to an end. The party will be rocking tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's my, that's my wife. She's the cute one. And um, he gave me a katana. And... Yes, that's him with the boys. Actually, well, the day after this, I actually emceed the Dalai Lama's event at the Opera House. Oh, not the Opera House, the um, Entertainment Centre. Sorry. And uh, still my favourite moment, we were doing a Q&A with him. And people had sent emailed questions in from all around the country. A question came from like a 14-year-old kid in the Gold Coast saying, Dear Dalai Lama, what's the difference between pleasure and happiness? And he went, oh. He said, Mikey, I have a friend, very important politician. He drinks for pleasure. Drink, 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 drink. It has made him very sick. His pursuit of pleasure has cost him his happiness. And I said, oh, your holiness, you sound like my doctor. And he just lightened the mood. And the Dalai Lama paused for a second. This is 12 and a half thousand people. He went, oh no, Mikey. If I was your physician, I'd say, lunch good, dinner not so much. I got fat slammed by the Dalai Lama. <laughs> Um, I think if I'm your physician, yeah, here we go. then then I will I will make one suggestion. Yes. Your your lunch, okay. Yeah. Dinner should be less. <laughs> Hi, um. I, uh, I I don't have the heart to tell his holiness that I've actually recently lost 50 kilos. Yes, sir. Thank heavens he wasn't here four years ago. <laughs> and also, too, you know, he'd have been a good 5'8 in his day. Favourite players of all time. Yeah, I, yeah, I tell you what, and it's from the current squad. John Sutton. Sutter. Mate, he was there during the bad years, he was there for the grand final win, and quite frankly, at a time when some blokes are slowing down, this year has been one of his best seasons ever. So, for me, I mean, you, know, you can mention you know, the great names, you know, the McCarthy's, the Sims, you know, the Ziggy, you know, Ian Roberts, uh, uh, Mario, but right now, Sato's top of my list. I think he's just... Um, I mean, so the effort, he, not just the effort, the yards he made, the... the, the, the the desire to get involved this year. Uh, I, I, I just thought, yeah, Sato's top of my list right now. I'm looking forward to the, the, the boys building on what they built this year. I, you know, it was a, you can see at the start of the season, it was a, it was a, it was a new game plan, it was a new coach. And they, they got into it, and then you know, the, that fantastic run of wins in a row. Um, the, look, the great thing is these days, you know we're gonna be there or about which for a long period of time you didn't. You know, we know we're going to be there about, I want to see uh, Cook expand his game. I want to see some of the, some of the young fellas coming up who are looking great. And um, I think it's going to be a good year.